All right, boys and girls. Well, welcome back to another video on the channel. Starting this introduction off just a little bit differently because uh, unfortunately this video did not go as planned. Got out here with the intention of sharpshooting some giant pre-spawn crappies back here up in the trees. Was gonna get everything on live scope, have everything recording on Active Captain. I thought I was all dialed and ready to go. Started filming three camera angles only to find out an hour and 20 minutes later, um, you know, seven or eight real big fish and uh, some smaller ones later that none of that active captain footage uh, was actually captured. So unfortunately in this video, um, we're not gonna see any live scope footage, which is obviously not what I was hoping for, but still a lot of great fish catches. Key bait today though, the three inch battle shad from Swing em In um, started out with regular purple top chartreuse bottom and then switched up to the snot rag. This is a 3 8 ounce jig head from uh, Bam's Jig Company. Really like the 3 8 ounce size when I'm sharpshooting big crappies up here in the trees because I want that bait to get down to the fish right away. We did deal with some spooky fish today though. Unfortunately, again, we'll not be able to show you any of that live scope footage. Really bummed about that, but because we caught uh, some real giants today, I am gonna still put this video out, but we'll have another video out coming soon with live scope footage so please stay tuned for that one but yeah in the meantime enjoy uh these fish catches unfortunately with no live scope footage and um, we'll see you at the end of the video <clears throat> that's a really big one right there i'd really like to get the bait in front of him Got him. That's big. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say if you're gonna start your day out sharpshooting pre-spawn fish, um, that's probably the one that you want right there. Absolutely smoked it. Just kind of got in front of a couple other fish, missed one, not quite as big, but that's the one that you want right there. That's probably 14 and a half. Probably close to two pounds ish, something like that. Beauty, we're not keeping any, especially these big pre spawn females. Gotta let these guys go to spawn. Thanks, girl. Appreciate your time. But yeah, I mean, it's like we got a ton of rain last night. The water's super dirty. Um, water's definitely probably come up. I mean, we got a lot of rain, not too many storms or anything, but a lot of rain. So it should be pretty aggressive here, especially in the next week. The spawn should hopefully be popping off if we uh, get some warmer weather. But yeah, that three inch battle shad with that three eighths ounce jig head from Bam's Jig Company is definitely the deal when you're trying to get a bait down to a fish immediately. And they just can't resist that one bit right away. Let's do it again. Got them. Yep. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna catch very many over here in this area under 12 and a half to 13 inches, I think on the smaller spectrum of things. That's like a small one, maybe. <laughs> Still 12 and a half incher. Love it. That one was right on the other side of that uh, stump right there. Perfect, just what we came for. Got him that time. Only took five tries. And it's a little one. I shouldn't have said anything. He didn't look too terribly big. But I mean, either like if we were trying to keep five or six for fish tacos, that'd probably be the one that you want. But we're in here looking for mamas. That was mama's boyfriend getting ready to fornicate. Not that one too. Oh, I jinxed myself. I'm like, oh, we're just gonna catch giants. We're just gonna catch giants. Well, unfortunately, slash fortunately, I mean, really, I'm just putting my bait in front of any fish and that's two males back to back. Two females, two males. We gotta start just targeting the big ones. Leave these little ones alone. You know what we should do? Let's, let's put some smell on there. 
So Jeremy, with Swing Him In, he's got this new stuff. It's what he marinates all of his baits in, but it's just like some stinky stuff. Uh, I don't even know honestly what's in it, but it's stinky and scent never hurt. So I'm just like, you can use dip and glow. I mean, if you want to add some more like chartreuse, that garlic stuff, but otherwise for a one-stop shop, Jeremy's got this oily stinky. I mean, you can see that oil sheen in the water there. So maybe throw some of that on. See if that makes a difference for some of these fickle girls who now, as you can see, I mean, it's totally slick, calm, sun's popping out, which should kind of help the cause, but we'll see if that makes a difference. They're starting to get a little bit more spookier than I anticipated, which is weird because the water is like chocolate milk. But after that rain, the water temp back here, the water temp on the main lake is like 57 and a half. The water temp back here in the cut is 56.11. So that might have something to do with it. But go figure, we start the video off with a giant and expect it to be super good. And now we're actually having to fish for him. Okay, well, I don't know. We might have to move. I don't know what's going on. That or I just really suck as a crappie fisherman, which a lot of people might love to believe. And it's not my favorite thing to do. So I don't know. We're catching them, but these are all small males. So we might move. Who knows? We're going to give her another try because she's kind of just slowly loafing around here. She's not like zipping off. So I'll try and be sneaky. I think that fish down below is a carp. Here she comes. Yeah, she's gonna bite. Do it. Got her. That one was worth it. A little better. A little better size quality. Still, still looking for those giant giants, just like the first one we caught. That's still 12 incher by anybody's standards. Good fish, good uh, small female, I guess if you were gonna wanna eat a female, which obviously you can, crop your prolific and spawn like rabbits. But yeah, at least the size is improving a little bit. I don't know how many of those small fish are gonna end up in the video, especially if I get into the big ones, but getting a lot of good crappie live scope beats. Haven't done a pre-spawn crappie sharpshooting video like I did when I first got live scope. But yeah, let's just keep zipping around the cove. We might uh, move down closer towards the river just a little bit, so we'll see. Got her. Oh, that's a big one. Yep, there we go. Finally. Man, they're definitely, I don't know what's got them so spooky and stingy and weird back here, especially with the muddy water, but those big ones are, I mean, granted, it's slick calm back here, but it's another decent one. 12 incher, I mean, not uh, the giant giants, but size quality is improving. That's all you can really hope for. <laughs> kind of dropped that, that one into the middle of the tree. Probably never saw anything on live scope. My chest camera overheated and it's not even that hot outside. So we're just rolling with this one right now. But decent one. Still looking for another like four or five of those absolute freaks. And especially some good live scope beats too. Cause that one, I knew there were three fish down there. I just pitched it like six feet out, let it fall right in the middle and went blind and got them. Mm-hmm. There we go. 
that's what I'm talking about. Finally, another absolute tank, big time tank. Smoke that one. There's like three down there with her too. But we managed to get that one. I almost switched colors because these fish are being so spooky and fussy right now. I have no idea why, but that's a good one. That's a great big one. We get her back, see if we can get two or three more and then call it good. I don't know, I think the storms this afternoon, again, are gonna roll in a little bit earlier than anticipated. So might have to get two or three more of those giants on the screen and see if we just get out of here. Got that one. Oh, another tank, another freaking tank instantly. That was one of those three fish that was on that tree and they were not leaving. Oh yeah, man, I'll tell you when it's fun, it's really fun. But when it's frustrating, I'd rather be doing something else. <laughs> These are the ones we're looking for though. That is a tank, absolute tank. Probably another 14 and a half. Whew. Okay, a couple more. See you girl, go make babies. Another one, same tree, same tree. <laughs> okay, now we're having fun. I wish I was weighing these fish. See what we'd have for seven in a tournament. Pre-spawners, there's still two or three fish left on that tree. Every, every angle that I move the transducer to, I see another one and nobody's moving. I should mention that I did also switch colors. We've got the Swing Em In Bait Co. Snot Rag, and that thing is just, I'm actually gonna have to get the pliers for that one. Skull hooked. Yep, absolute freak. Bye, girl. All right guys, well, as you can tell, we are back at the house. Really apologize for not getting any of the live scope stuff uh, in the video. Unfortunately, stuff like that does just happen. If you guys aren't familiar with the uh, helm feature of Ap Active Captain, all that just goes through your phone. There's just like a, a record and stop button. I was hitting record and stop for every clip and for some reason, none of it saved to my phone. So I guess we're just going old school on this one. Just old school crappie fishing, sniping bigs in the timber. But obviously things could be worse. Uh, both of my GoPros could have shit the bed, could have forgot to put the plug in, could have fallen in. Things could always be worse. There's still a fishing video, but uh, promise from now on, we'll make sure that all the live scope footage is recording. I feel like I've been pretty good up to this point so far. But yeah, that's all I've got. Hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, regardless of not having any of the live scope stuff on film. Be sure to go check out uh, Swing em In Baits in the links down in the description to get that three inch battle shad. Fox River Rods and PC Fun, all the discount codes are also listed down below. And that's all I've got. So thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.